morning everyone i hope you all are well so today i'm going to tell you the development of neural tube and further the development of nervous system so with the help of models i'm going to tell you how the neural pores are formed so here you see this is the third week of development where you can appreciate two lip like structures cranially that is at the cephalic end and at the caudal end so this is the embryonic disc basically and blue colored is the amnion cut edge of amnion now these lips cranial one is the anterior neuropore or the cranial neuropore whereas the caudal lip is the caudal neuropore or the posterior neuropore so the fusion starts in the neural tube in the midline and goes cranially and then caudally so these two are the openings left at the time of fusion so this one anterior neuropore fuses at day 25 and posterior neuropore fuses on day 28 now by the side of this neural tube you can appreciate some elevated dot like structures these are the somites on either sides and this one is the cartilaginous area so this blue is the cut edge of amnion anterior neuropore posterior neuropore and the somites you can appreciate by the side of the neural tube similar one is this model where you can see that anterior neuropore is narrowed down and posterior neuropore is present in the form of just a elongated structure at the caudal end this is the cut edge of amnion with the somites on either side and the cartilaginous area then we have further development when takes place an additional structure you can find here this additional structure is the connecting stalk and you can see that the umbilical vessels are present in this connecting stalk again this is the cut edge of amnion and this is the embryonic disc you can appreciate where there is primitive streak at the caudal end with the primitive node at the top of it then there is procaudal plate developing and this is the neural groove right is another structure also similar to the previous one where you can see the primitive streak primitive node and the neural groove cut edge of amnion with the connecting stalk another model similar to the previous one this is primitive streak with the primitive node and the procaudal plate with the neural groove connecting stalk and the cut edge of amnion now here in this model you can see the cranial procaudal plate is there with the primitive streak and the primitive node or you can say the henson's node and on either side of the primitive streak you can appreciate two bulgings these are paired bulgings this is prosencephalon caudal to the prosencephalon are two less prominent bulgings which are the mesencephalon as the last model in this series is you can see this as the amniotic cavity the yellow one is the yolk sac and in between is the embryonic disc where you can see the ectoderm towards the amniotic cavity then this is the mesoderm and the lining towards the yolk sac is of endoderm so this is the connecting stalk from where the blood vessels are traversing now what is the difference between the connecting stalk and the umbilical cord connecting stalk remains connecting stalk until the blood vessels start piercing it that is 
the basic difference between the connecting stroke and the umbilical cord is blood vessels like umbilical arteries pair of umbilical arteries and an umbilical vein when pierces the connecting stroke it becomes the umbilical cord so that's all about these models i hope it is clear to you thank you